What inspired me to make the song was just wanting to be acknowledged. A lot of voices are going on around you all the time, but the most important voice, no matter what, is your own voice. And that's what Voices is really about. This promise denies air. I struggle to wear the crown. I'm in need of a size greater. If I'm doing this at all, it's nothing besides major. What's good? It's Ladipo. But my real name is Ladipo Esho. And I've lived in Lagos all my life, but I'm from Oshun State, Nigeria. And welcome to my episode of my music and I. I have to ask myself when I think of an office life, could I give up being a rapper? There's only a good few. The record label that I'm signed to is Maven Records, and um, the name of my album is Talk About Po, aka Tap. Listen, I swear, hear voices. It's dedicated to all the people that have stuck by me this whole time and have been part of the journey. Okay, how I got signed to Maven, yes, um, I just released a couple of songs, I think it was Koye one basically at the time. That's the first time I got like, I heard this funny rumor, Don Jazzy wants to sign me. Really? Nah, it's a rumor. That, that's exactly how I thought it was, you know, but um, it turned out that he really was looking for for a rapper, but not just any rapper, he wanted the rapper. My manager told me don't set it for less, but still as a Yoruba boy, man, it's nothing to show some respect. <laughs> I just find myself on Maven record. Never stop until the moment I've done, the man already. The first song I'll speak about is a song called Voices. What Voices was about, what inspired me to make the song was just making good music doesn't mean that you don't know your own value, it doesn't mean that you don't feel like your value deserves compensation, you know. It, it was that realization that yo, to be dope is actually to be dope. Don't blame me because I make good music. Another song that I really like off the project is a song called Red Light. We started working on that song a while back, I can't lie, it's been a journey. And um, it just has this, I like the energy of the song and I like the lines of the song. You know, I'm a human being, so I like, I like chill stuff too. I like, I like, I like music that that talks about having a good time, and that's what red light is about. You know, it's like I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait for the the green light. I'm going to move on the red light. Okay, there's a song called a song called Hello Goodbye. Hello, hello, goodbye. You must have called my name. Hello Goodbye is a very important song to me because, you know, in the course of deciding if I wanted to make music, if I wanted to continue to do it. And what kind of artist I wanted to be. You know, I lost some very, very, very important people to me. People that were important in my life and they've made me the person I am today. You know, and they're no longer around. You know, and also lost a very close friend of mine who was like my older sister. You know, so um, the, the song is dedicated to them. It's also about realizing that there's still important people in your life no matter who you've lost. And I think a lot of people forget that sometimes when they're in, when they're in a low place, they forget that there's people out there that that love you and will support you no matter what. So hello goodbye is about that. Hello, goodbye. You must have called my name about... There's one that is creeping up on my list. It's called Win Win. I got what you what you what you what you of course I got yeah I like Win Win because. To me, man, it embodies what it means to be Nigerian. It is the kind of it's the kind of song that says, no matter the situation you're in, maybe the generator, there's no petrol, maybe when you came back home to work, there was no lights, or whatever the situation is going on, you win by any means necessary. I remember when I was recording the song, I had an accident not too long ago, and my face, I think my scar is still here. Can you see my scar? Yeah, my whole face was messed up. That's when OT, who produced the track, he came to my crib, he was with my manager, and they played me the song. And with my busted face, I'm jumping up and down in my room, and that's when I started to come up with the ideas for the song, and it goes... Mainland, of course, yes. No light, of course, yes. On gen, of course, yes. hey man, of course, win-win by force. The next song is a song called Revival. 
I don't care about your top five, your metaphors or the cup size or the baby swear you're not blaming who loves all my punchlines. But I remember this is the last song that we recorded off the tape. So we're pretty much done with the tape. We're listening to it back, you know, back and forth and we're like, man, there's something missing. There's just there's just something missing. You know, it turned out that what was missing was a track that just had me speaking my mind, not thinking about the concept, not thinking about who was listening, just going in. And that's what revival turned out to be. And to my eye, just got backs. So make sure you buy sense. So you need more than just white friends. So oh. you be chilling in your own lane, trying to do your own thing. I'm caught up between two. There's one called Double Homicide. There's another one called Mood. But I'll go with Double Homicide for now. Uh, is this about to be another double homicide? Everything you think is dope, I personify. Yeah, I personify. What I needed to make that track work, I needed one of the best rappers in Africa. Uh, so the song features Ghost and um, from STC and he killed it, you know. We needed somebody to take it up a notch. I didn't know he was going to take it up like by 40 notches. I want to show people that rap has artistry, rap has music. It's also about the culture behind it, but it's just about bringing those things to the forefront, you know. And it's not just about bragging. Are you a dope artist? Are you a, a great musician? So I think my tape, my project shows that music is just as important to, to artists like myself. You know? And um, I want it to be another genre that pushes forward just as much as everything else is. Nigeria is popping off right now and um, I'm really happy to be part of it. My name is Pope. The essence of live performance is to be generous, is to share. It's a collaboration because it's you and the audience. They're giving you energy, you're giving them energy back. My worst performance was at uh, the first ever Giddy Culture Festival. I can't remember what year that was. I think it was 2014 or 15, I think 14 maybe. And I performed and it was bad, man. I wasn't ready for what it takes to be somebody on stage in front of a really big crowd. But that experience was so necessary because, like, from then, it puts me in front of the crowd now. Let's see what's going to happen. My best performance, I can't pick. <laughs> I really can't. But what I, I really enjoyed Art X 2007. That was last year. I did Art X. You know, I was the closing act. That was a shutdown. I loved that. It was amazing. Yeah, Where we going tonight? Put up in the Mercedes. See my guy from Dubai. Now we're doing 180. Now we're doing too much. So everybody, I go by the name Laddie Poe, and this has been my episode of My Music and I. Remember, no punchlines, just lifelines. And if you want to be part of the movement, it's simple. All you have to do is follow me on all the platforms. My name is L-A-D-I-P-O-E on every single platform, and if you want to come see me live, make sure you come through. Check my page, I'm doing a show in December 16th. And it's going to be live, and I need to see you there. Peace.